Fury came to us to uh, be as the prime in a contract to install a uh, gas platform in the Cook Inlet along with a pipeline which was approximately uh, 16 miles long. We had a contract to do everything, transport all the equipment from the lower 48 up to Alaska, install the pipeline, the entire project management plan all the engineering, everything rolled up underneath us in some way. Crowley um, is, is well known for their, their transportation of oil and gas equipment um, to remote areas. So we, we utilize the Crowley 455 series heavy deck barges to do that, which were specifically built to carry heavy modules for um, the oil and gas industry. You know, the magnitude of the operation is, is pretty impressive. How many boats and how many people and how much material and money you know is involved in this project is uh, pretty impressive. Very challenging in Alaska. You have waters that are moving at a, a rate that doesn't move anywhere else. Uh, even more disturbing is uh, in this this water has a lot of soil in it so you cannot see anything. Uh, it's one of the most extreme tides in the world so planning plays a, a big part in what we do. In addition to moving very fast and being very cold it also has a lot of particulate in it. With the zero visibility conditions, you know, everything is done by feel. Um, we use Blueview sonar uh, mounted on the diver's helmet. Right. It's not only hard for the guy to do this, but it's also quite dangerous operation. This was a pretty complex project for us as a company. In this case, there was a wellhead already on the bottom and had been drilled and capped off. And we actually had to put the platform at a thousand tons over the top of uh, that wellhead, and that required a, a high precision um, arrangement in order to hit that. The monopod itself, uh, due to the uh, environmental um, conditions that we have here, is a massive piece of equipment. In the middle, in the middle, a big monopod, a big tower where on top we will install the production facility later. We needed several things. Uh, one is a heavy lift ship to actually do the lifting of the platform off the barge. And that involved outfitting it with a 10-point mooring system with two-inch wires. We brought the equipment uh, and the tools that we really needed to get the job done. It's, it's very remote. It's a really unique uh, environment that you got to deal with. And, Crowley, obviously, we, we know that environment better than almost anyone. The other major piece of equipment that we needed was a pipe laying vessel. So we, we ended up building a, our own pipe laying vessel along with our subcontractor, Chet Morrison. To lay pipe in the Cook Inlet is a real project. It's something, uh, really a, a thing people are proud of. The project was heavily populated with uh, expert uh, subcontractors. Yeah, our, our approach was to build a team. So, yeah, a lot of coordination, a lot of communication, uh, a lot of planning, a lot of high-end professionals that have to all of a sudden become a team. And we've got a lot of, uh, let's say, strong-minded personnel. So this is uh, quite a challenge uh, to have all of them here, strong characters, um, to, to have a good and safe uh, chain of command. And, and I think that's probably the, the largest um, obstacle you get to go through in a project like this, is take all these experts with egos, with, with different viewpoints, and, and put them on the same team and get them to gel. The most important uh, and the most risky part of our project this is setting the monopod. This is a 1,200 uh, tons piece of metal that we need to step in an accuracy of like uh, five centimeters uh, on the uh, position it on the seabed. Okay, well each crane right now is I think carrying somewhere around about 740 tons plus the rigging. So uh, it is actually a capacity lift for the vessel. Yeah, I would say 
there'll be a lot of there'll be a lot of uh, a lot of happy people when this when this operation uh, is complete. It's like I said, it's tricky. And I think yeah, that's where the Fury team really at the end succeeded best. They were pressured. Uh, there was um, incredible amounts of pressure to get it done. Uh, we've got a very strict timeline because if the uh, Cook Inlet starts freezing over, uh, we're not allowed to operate here anymore. The time window for doing this was almost impossible. So if we miss that window uh, to set up the monopods, we are delayed by a year and nobody wants this. Yes. Everyone knew it. Uh, there was a lot of people on the outside that said, this is never going to work. Yeah, I, I think we don't like to be told things aren't uh, possible. Um, we as engineers like to solve problems. As much as that is feasible in the physical world, we'll go after and try to solve those problems. We went out and did something that, uh, quite frankly, in many, many respects, had never been done before in the Cook Inlet by anyone. When it was done, one, there was a sense of relief <laughs> that we, we, we made it, uh, but two, there was a sense of, uh, of, uh, of pride. Uh, a very challenging project. Uh, it went uh, not without struggle, but we, we pulled it off and there was uh, tremendous success at the end of the day, so we're very proud of it.